There is something in the air called a frequency. So the study of psychic energy or psychic reality, we call it psychic phenomenon. Phenomenon doesn't mean that it's not real. Phenomenon in a sense just means the occurrence, this something is happening and we're exploring this phenomenon. I like to say the psychic reality, that this is something that we don't address in our daily lives. We don't bring it into our real day-to-day, -day, you know, minute-to-minute -minute awareness. We're so busy with our lives, raising kids or having relationships or being focused on work or any health condition that we may have, or just trying to make ends meet. Third eye, I consider those the five vital points and we want them open. So that means that you're not crossing your arms when you're doing this work. You're not crossing your legs when you're doing this work. If you are, let's say you are, and there's nothing but peace and tranquility all around. As we begin to walk through this forest, we see inscriptions that feel very ancient that were carved into these trees, symbols, patterns. There's an innate feeling that these were left here for us to discover. And as we are walking through this peaceful environment, a sense of belonging is beginning to happen to you. The universe works. Psychic, the psychic reality is a technology you're going to learn because it's all about frequency. So what this work is about that I'm teaching you, giving you this fundamental knowledge tonight, is about your antenna. And the way that you do this is through emptying your mind through emptying your mind and becoming very flexible and loose, allowing yourself to channel out things, maybe even through your hands. All of my readings are over the phone. I never even see the person. All I ever have is a first name written on a piece of paper my assistant gives me and I just call and that's how I do my psychic readings. Because I'm not necessarily connecting to that person that I'm giving the reading to. I'm connecting to, you might call it the grid or the frequencies in the air. A real message is not created by you. A real message is just like the television that I said that the frequency is flying through the air. Just like a radio picks up different radio stations because you just turn the dial. You might think uh, of some lemon meringue pie. You go, why am I thinking about that? Just say it. Learn to not be afraid of being wrong. Don't be afraid of being wrong. Here's why. Remember, we're gonna float almost up towards the ceiling. As you are floating up above your body, you're looking down and you can see the top of your head. You can see where you're sitting, your body position, and the room around you. In a store near you, great. So the three crystals you're going to need are pieces of selenite, obsidian, and rose quartz and let them each be about that size now some and we want to grid the four corners of the room okay what this is going to do is has three different levels of energy the black obsidian will go first you're going to stack them you're going to stack them the black obsidian it is a powerful neutralizer of negative energy it is a grounding stone and that will be on the bottom okay so that would be the first one right here various topics in a person's life. Sometimes they can feel energy from an object. They can see things that happened in the past, the present and the future, and what can happen in a particular situation. A medium is a person who connects to those people who have crossed over, including even your pets. A channeler is a person who is able to relay messages from spirit guides. A full trance channel is a channeler who